All right, for ballers, we're back for another week of video, moving, picture, solid, verbal, solid, verbal, overtime is back. We're going to go through our locks of the week and our traps of the week. Ty, there are a lot of teams playing, a lot of good teams playing. Where shall we start? Who is your lock of the week? Well, I don't know if it's my lock of the week, but I really like South Carolina. Lock of the week. In that early game on Saturday over Georgia. The game's in Columbia. And look, I know Georgia has won seven of the last eight meetings between these two teams and has won four straight in Columbia, South Carolina. But if you're asking me just a few too many questions, A.J. Green has to sit this one out because of what? Selling his jersey to an agent or something bizarre like that. Aaron Murray, this is his first real road game. It's in Columbia, South Carolina, which is typically a very difficult place to play. And I feel like the safer play here is to take South Carolina at home. Even though it's a three-point spread, I don't care. I like South Carolina to beat the Georgia Bulldogs in that 12 p.m. game on Saturday. The safer pick for me never rhymes with Mevin Marcia. And that's what you're going with. And I, I simply can't take Stephen Garcia. He was impressive in his first game, obviously, against Southern Miss. But I think George is a completely different animal. I'm still not confident in George's offense. I'm confident somewhat in George's defense. And I'm just not confident in Stephen Garcia. I know he played well. I don't think he can keep it up. I think George is going to get by on scrappiness and speed of their defense. And I think Aaron Murray is going to be pretty good. I think Mark Richt has the, the history to do things on the road, especially within the SEC. And I just trust Georgia to be more consistent at this point uh, in, in 2010 than I do South Carolina. Well, Dan, if you want to go against the Cox, then by all means, <laughs> go against the Cox. Let's move on. Let's talk about another big game taking place yes. on Saturday. It's an early one at 12 p.m., a battle of Florida. Two Florida teams that have never played each other before. USF, the South Florida Bulls, squaring off against the Florida Gators. Florida last week started out a little bit shaky. John Brantley, not quite what people had hoped in an opening game for the Florida Gators, especially on the heels of Tim Tebow. Look, USF, Dan, looking at a bye week next week. On the other hand, the Gators, five straight SEC games on the backside of this game against the South Florida Bulls. USF, I think, has experience headed into this game. I think they're amped up for this game like they were last season when they took down Florida State. I'm slowly but surely looking for an out with my Florida Gator National Championship prediction for 2011. So, make it my trap game of the week, Dan Rubenstein. It's a trap! It's a trap! I don't know if South Florida is going to beat Florida, but I think they will certainly absolutely positively keep it within that 16 point spread i have no idea what my trap game is what's my trap game i'm going to take byu to beat air force wow. the line is way way too small uh and i think byu looked actually much better than i thought they would look i have eaten a bit of crow i still don't think byu is going to win the mountain west but i don't think air force is going to win either air force is good just not all that great and they just don't finish against the really good teams they're always sort of on that pecking level right below don't know if that's a real phrase. But I'm going BYU. I think they're better than this spread indicates. I think it's a trap. People are getting excited about Air Force just because they're sort of an option team du jour out west in Colorado. So give me BYU and give me BYU by a little bit more than one, if that means anything. Wow. Well, BYU is getting one point in this game, Dan. So perhaps this wow. will be a trap game indeed. Indeed, it will be. So that is all the time we have this week on the Solid Verbal Overtime or whatever we're going to call it. But we're going to see you next week or else or else we will drop this knowledge bomb all over you and your loved ones. That was a threat. See you later.